How are we doing, guys? And welcome to another Transfer and News Daily. So, guys, an interesting one today. Um, let's get straight into it. Of course, no more mention of hashtag free Ben White. Um, I think I went through that enough in yesterday's Transfer Daily update. So, um, happy new week to you guys. Let's go into the first story of the day. Okay, so Amadou Diawara, the latest on Amadou Diawara, who is set for talks at Leeds United. Um, he's going to fly to England next week, apparently, according to uh, Il Maseglo um, in Italy. Um, Roma, apparently, I did mention this yesterday, looking to sell funds, uh, looking to sell um, Diawara to raise um, funds for other signings. So, I mean, Diawara has fallen out of interest to the extent that um, Roma, in terms of the midfield pecking order, there is a lot of quality midfielders at Roma at the moment. So I wouldn't take that as a sign that he's a bad player as such. Um, but this one is really gathering a bit of momentum. Um, did a little bit of research on Diawara. Looks very solid to me. Um, very much similar to KP. Um, if not, um, you know, probably someone who's going to really suit playing alongside the KP. You know, really allow possibly KP to push forwards more possibly. If we are going to drop into a 4-2-3-1 system, assuming that is the plan, you know, signing two Holden midfielders, um, or whether it's just to bolster the squad, who knows? But Diawara to me looks very, very promising. I'm not going to go too much into that because I mentioned it a lot in the last video, but this one is gathering momentum. You know, it's gone from £27 million fee mentioned, and now all of a sudden he's flying over to England to properly discuss um, things and that lot. So that's that's an interesting one. Um, you know, again, not real too much mention of it in terms of. Um, uh, Phil Hay, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so far. So let's not go too carried away on that one. Um, I, I will wait for Phil Hay's seal of approval on that one. But uh, but that's interesting, you know. Certainly, how strong we are linked with holding midfielders. Um, when obviously a lot of a lot of us would talk about centre backs and strikers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that holding midfielder seems like a priority so far this summer. So I'm not going to go too much further on that one. Uh, let's go on to the next bit of news. Talking of strikers, um, someone else mentioned yesterday. Um, Odson Edouard, again, little surprise here, yet again, Aston Villa are targeting players that we are targeting as well, or trying to rival us to targets. Um, but yeah, again, massive increase in the fee mentioned for Edouard. This is from the Birmingham Mail. Uh, yesterday, a £20 million fee was mentioned. Now it's gone up to £40 million. And that And that's just the market, isn't it? I think that was more the fee I was thinking. Uh, probably, I think, to be fair, it's gone the other way now. I think £40 million seems... A bit heavy for Edouard, but you know, I think 25 30 million is probably what the player's worth to me. Um, and yeah, to be fair, Celtic can definitely value him at a higher price because Celtic have got the power here. You know, they're, they're potentially in the Champions League, they're pushing for 10 titles in a row. You know, they had the power here. You know, they have the top quality player on a quite a long term contract. They've got, they've got the power. But, yeah, interesting Aston Villa are going for him as well. Because, obviously, Aston Villa have been, been linked with Ollie Watkins, Ben Rama. You know, they can't sign all three players, just like we can't sign all three players. So, possibly, whoever gets Watkins maybe gets Edouard. Whoever gets Edouard maybe gets Watkins, etc., etc. So, interesting, really. Interesting how much the fee has increased by, as I've already mentioned. But, but yeah, um, Aston Villa rivaling those two Edouard. But I'm not necessarily getting too concerned about that. I think it's always concerned when you go for a player completely unchallenged. Um, you know, you have no other team bidding for him. That's always a bad sign to me. You know, where, like with some of the signs we have made in the last couple of years or so, we've just made them and no one else has gone for them kind of thing. And that's a bit of a worry to me. Um, but if we're going for players that other teams are interested in as well, that's a good sign. That's a good sign that our scouting agrees with other teams scouting and we are actually talk, targeting quality players. So not too concerned by that. Um, obviously, we're in for a battle to get top quality players like Watkins, Edouard, Benrahma, but it is what it is. You know, it's a better sign than going for players who were not wanted by other clubs. So, next bit of news, and this is now the imminent new signing, an imminent new arrival at Leeds United. Obviously, for the academy um, squad, uh, Joe Gellhart is set to be announced on Monday, um, and this is actually from the Athletic themselves. Um, and yeah, there's absolutely fine in terms of medical and personal terms. Um, and obviously, the price has been set by Wigan Athletics administrators, so it's likely from that. From that, I think you can take it as being probably a cut price deal. And um, when you are dealing with administrators, we've learned that to our cost twice, um, and that and that's the way it goes, unfortunately, sometimes. But it looks like we're getting a top quality player there. Um, another forward mentioned as well um, from Slavia Prague, um, forward Nikolai 
Stanciu, Stanciu, um, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but anyway, the 27 year old Romanian international valued around 7 million. Um, but yeah, the, this is uh, this is one that's has been discussed um again not too many solid links so far but this is probably the first solid link to him at actual price being mentioned um seven million for any forward does seem cheap again i'm not gonna lie guys this is someone i don't know anything about um this is one that's just literally popped up on me this morning uh, so not much time to research on this one but interesting and um, this is someone who can play in all three or four positions as far as i'm aware right wing left wing up top so that's you get that versatility with him whether this screams to me a first team signing in terms of someone who's going to go straight to the starting eleven or more of a squad player who's going to come off the bench, I'd probably go more for the latter to be honest. But who knows? Um, just looking at kind of his profile and that lot and what kind of player he is, he doesn't seem to be someone who um, is kind of like um, really impressed in one position as such. Um, but again, that's an interesting one for me. That doesn't really that suggests Stanchio and someone else, maybe a Watkins and Edwards as the first team options. But but yeah, I mean, you know, if we're bolstering our attacking options, that can't definitely can't be a bad thing. Um, you know, if we can get more goals from our forwards, and that's that's what we need, you know, from our wingers and strikers, we need more goals. So interesting one that we are being linked with Stan to you. Uh, seven million does seem cheap. It's not a low risk really at seven million. You know, if it goes wrong, if it's seven million at the end of the day. Um but yeah, that does seem low risk. Um if that is um, a solid link, but again, no mention of from Phil Hay yet. So take with a pinch of salt at the moment. Um, this isn't as strong as a Ben Wise link, for example. But that one to me does seem like a sort of a backup um, kind of option if Edouard and Watkins goes wrong, or if we get Edouard and Watkins as backup to them kind of thing. It, that's just what it strikes me as, to be honest. But let us know in the comments if you disagree with that. If you do think Stan to you is one who would probably look to bring straight into the starting eleven. Let me know, guys. Um, so, last bit of transfer news again. <laughs> you don't really need to talk about this one, but just final confirmation that Edison Cavani, Edison Cavani is definitely not happening, guys. It's definitely, definitely not happening. There's still mention of Twitter, people saying, what if we sign Cavani? It's not happening, guys. This is confirmation now. Benfica is set to be his destination. It's that, And that's absolute confirmation now. Edison Cavani, the last time we'll mention Edison Cavani on this channel Unless he plays against us, <laughs> um, that'll be the last time we mention Edison Cavani. So that is absolutely off the table now. He's gone to Benfica, and it looks like Eduard Watkins and Stan Siu are the current links to in terms of the striker options or forward options at Leeds United at the moment. And the last bit of news this isn't really transfer related, but a very interesting one from very early this morning, six o'clock this morning. This came out. Um, we're pleased to confirm Leeds are pleased to confirm a new sponsorship deal with Clipper PLC, um, and they're going to sponsor the training uh, training kit and be our logistics partner. Again, we've had we've had links with Clipper for quite a while. To be fair, um, but this is just confirmation of that. But interesting, the interesting thing I found was that it was so early in the morning. You know, it was so early in the morning, this has been announced. Surely, is that making room for even bigger announcements later on in the day? Possibly a kit sponsor, possibly a new kit. Who knows? Danny did mention that yesterday. Um, it does seem a bit strange. It does seem almost certain that something else will be announced today, whatever it is, whether it's Joe Gilhard, a couple of other things that may, may, may be mentioned. It just seems very strange to put that out at 6 o'clock on a Monday morning if other things aren't going to be confirmed today. So, But guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, a bit of a shorter one today. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we can wrap up. Diawara is now set for talks. That's stepped up another level. Um, Odson Edouard we're facing a lot of competition for from Villa once again just like Watkins and Benrahma just to recap Joe Kelhart is set to sign and uh, Nicola Stanciu Stan, Stan um, is being linked for Slavia Prague in terms of a forward option whether it's a backup or who knows um, and we're definitely out of the race for Edison Cavani so guys I'm going to leave it there I hope you have a great week and um, hope you had a good weekend as well and, and I hope you're looking forward to plenty more all these TV content. Make sure you check out our previous transfer dailies and a very, very, very um, enjoyable interview with Nacho Zed yesterday. Yeah, Nacho Zed, um, an absolute lover of uh, Marcelo Bielsa, loves all things Marcelo Bielsa. Um, and yeah, fantastic, fantastic video yesterday. Just a pretty much interview kind of format with me, Joe and Danny, um, just talking about why 
from an Argentinian perspective, why Bielsa is so loved. And it was a fascinating hour-long chat. Make sure you check that out. That was the last video we did before this, um, and it went out last night. So, guys, I'm going to leave it there anyway. See you later, guys.